Hi everybody, I'm back with the 13 Haunted Projects of Halloween series. Today we are on number 8 and I decided I wanted to give some of my friends and co-workers some bottles of wine for Halloween. And I saw so many cute ideas on Pinterest. I saw a ton of tutorials on YouTube. There's two in particular I really liked that um, I made one and it was a little too big for my slender wine bottle um, but if you have a bigger wine bottle you want to follow a tutorial from Crafty Caroline I will post a link below this video head on over check her out show her some YouTube love she does one for a little bit larger wine bottle but this wine bottle is a nice slender wine bottle and I did mine a little differently, but I followed a tutorial from Jessie's Craft Room. Now she does her wine bottle with one sheet of 12 by 12 designer paper. I did mine with cardstock and then I cut mats. As you can see, I'll bring it a little bit closer. I did mats all the way around on mine. So I figured out the measurements for those and um, just did it this way. So if you want to do it with one sheet, and you should really head over and check her out anyway. She's an amazing crafter, does easy to follow tutorials. Her name is Jessie and it's Jessie's Craft Room. I'm going to post that below. She does a slender wine bottle tutorial and I absolutely loved it. But I did figure out how to do the mats and just do it with cardstock, so we're gonna go ahead and do a tutorial for you guys today. The paper that I used to create my mats is from the Trick or Treat paper pad from the Paper Studio. I also used my scallop, um, large scallop, classic scallop circle dies and the scallop that I used was the third one, third smallest one, which measures two and three quarter inches. You're going to need one of these for the bottom of your wine bottle just because I think it looks nicer and it finishes it off um, really cute. And you'll see why I mentioned that. And then I also used it here. And then I used a stamp from an American Crafts stamp set to stamp Happy Halloween and I put some foam underneath to create some dimension. And then I created this really cute ghost tag. I did see some sentiments on Pinterest that said, I'm just here for the booze. And I thought those were really cute, but I decided to write Halloween and booze go great together. And I created this gift tag from the Happy Hauntings Cricut Cartridge. I turned to page 37 and I paper pieced this at four and a quarter inches high for those of you that like to know that. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what I used quick before we get started. The orange, um, I'm gonna take this off because I really do only have one wine bottle. Um, the orange ribbon that you're going to need to tie your wine bottle on, I cut mine at like 22 inches and then I just trimmed it down once I got it on the wine bottle. So I'm just going to open this up so I can take this sleeve right off. And like I said, this bottle is a slender bottle, and I'm pretty sure it measures, let me put my glasses on, um, two and three quarter inches. Yeah, it's about two and three quarter inches across. So it's a nice slender wine bottle, and this sleeve fits nice and snug for it. All right, so let me put this aside. I'm probably going to have to adjust my camera as we go because um, we're going to want to look down and then get a little taller for the thing. I'm sorry if it goes blurry once in a while. 
But for right now, I'm going to face it down and get out my scoreboard. You're going to need a sheet of cardstock that measures 10 and a half by 10 and a quarter inches. And then you want to line it up at the 10 and a quarter inch mark. Okay. We are going to score it at 1 and 5 eighths. Three and one quarter inch, four and seven eighths, six and a half, eight and one eighth inch, and then again at nine and three quarters. And that's going to leave us this half inch flap here, which we'll need to put our sleeve together. Then I'm going to flip it around and line it up with the ten and a half inch mark. And we are going to score at one and three eighths of an inch. And then flip it directly around, line it up again at ten and a half, and score it again at one and three eighths. Of an inch. So let me put my scoreboard aside and I'm going to start folding up my score lines. And then we're going to start doing some cutting. Now, a lot of the tutorials that I saw, they used a, and I think it's, um, gift box punch board. I didn't have that. So I'm going to show you how to cut these flaps without a punch board. You won't need a punch board or anything like that. Okay. So I'm going to decide to keep my half inch flap on the right. These are going to be my bottom flaps and these are going to be my top flaps. For right now we want to cut this little piece off here. And then you're going to want to cut this little top piece off. Now, the easiest way I know how to show you guys this is to just start cutting up on your score line to meet the next one. And then I'll show you what to do after that. So cut all those score lines to create your flaps. And then once you have your flaps done, all you need to do is go in at an angle and just trim off a little bit. Okay, so you're going to take that little tiny sliver off and kind of make an angle with it. Okay, go in again, little angle, cut that little piece off again at an angle. It does not, these flaps do not have to be perfect, but you can see we're just shaving off and almost making little triangles in between. And this is where they would use that um, gift box punch board, but I didn't really feel that was necessary. I mean, if you have it, that's fantastic. It'll give you, you know, exact cuts, but it's just a wine bottle sleeve. I didn't think it was necessary. So it should look something like this at the bottom. And you're going to do the same thing or something like that at the top. You're going to do the same thing at the bottom. Now, if you have a gift box punch board, um, I think Carolina, I mean, I think Jesse's Craft Room and I think Crafty Carolina both use a punch board, but I'm not absolutely positive because it's been a while since I've watched it. So don't go quote me on it, but <laughs> um, I think they might. But like I said, if you don't have a punch board, just go in and trim off little pieces at an angle and create like a like a triangle in between 
you know, your flaps. So in at an angle, turn that off, angle it. These are not perfect sizes, but it doesn't have to be. It still turns out totally super cute. Almost done here. I am a slow cutter, guys. And just angle that last flap off. Okay, so we should have something that looks like this. And before we start matting up our wine sleeve, like I said, this is gonna be the bottom. I have my half inch piece over here on my right hand side. So up here at the top is where we're gonna add our ribbon later. I'm gonna flop, flip that over and I'm gonna go in and center my hole puncher and I go down about a quarter of an inch and I center it, try to center it in the middle there and just punch a hole in every flap. Down a quarter inch, center it and punch. This is going to be where we weave our ribbon in and out of. Okay, so our holes are punched and we have the top, the bottom, and the flap. We're going to flip this over and we are going to start putting on our pattern paper. I decided to use little candies for this one. When you do a pattern paper, you might want to cut it so that your patterns go together. It doesn't really matter, but you know, you might want to check into that. Make sure your pattern lines up when you start gluing. But for your strips, you're going to need six of them, and they're going to measure seven and five eighths by one and a half inches. And I'm just going to use some liquid glue. all the way down my flap and glue that on in each section. You can use um, two-sided tape, your ATG tape, the tear and tape, um, you know, any kind of double sided tape or you can use glue. If you use liquid glue, use it sparingly. You don't want to get a whole lot of lumpy glue on there because if your paper gets too wet, it'll warp a little. So that's just a little tip there. I love this one because it has this really tiny nozzle and it only allows a little bit of glue out at a time. This is that art glitter glue and I'm not endorsing, I mean they don't pay me to say any of this, I just really, this is one of my favorite glues. And when you buy the art glitter glue you can also buy these um, really thin tips to put on your glue bottle and I love it because I do a lot of Cricut um, paper piecing and sometimes the pieces are so tiny that allowing you know having this tip and only using a little tiny bit of glue is fantastic I love it you don't waste any glue that way okay so we put our pattern on and now I'm going to fold my flap in and add glue to my flap And then I'm just going to close this right onto the flap. And put my bone folder over it. Okay, so there's our sleeve. And the easiest way to do this um, is to actually, your holes are the top part, okay? The bottom part is not. The easiest way to close the bottom is to actually put um, your, it over your wine bottle 
and then figure out, you know, how you're going to close up your flaps and just start gluing them. Okay, so I'm going to close this and add glue and then add glue to this corner. Close that. It's just easier when the wine bottle is in here. And then close this one, this one. I'm going to add it to both sides there and close that. I'm just going to hold that a second, maybe push down on my wine bottle. Okay, so you see how you have that opening there and then all these flaps are closed and it's not really all that nice looking. That's what this scallop circle is for to finish it off and make it look really nice and neat. And like I said, I used two and three quarter inch scallop circle. I'm going to add a lot of adhesive to this because that's going to, once I center that, that's really going to keep my flaps closed as well. Okay, and then I'll just set my wine bottle down and let that dry. Now for this part, I'm going to angle my camera up a little. So excuse me if it gets a little blurry. I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to make sure we're at a good angle. Okay, so I have a flat piece here. And this is where I added my sentiment. I kind of centered it. So I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to that. And I'm just going to center that in. Okay. Now for the top piece here, I have a decorative piece that's going to go around the top. That measures four by two and I'm just going to put a little bit of ATG tape on one end. You can use two-sided tape or glue. I just thought the tape might be easier. And I'm going to line it up where this cork part is here and just fold it around. And I'm not putting it on super snug so that it could be lifted on and off. I mean, it doesn't matter. You could actually just tear it off, the, whoever gets it. But I made it a little loose there. Okay, now for closing these flaps, I, like I said, 22 inches. And I'm going to use my tweezer. And I'm going to go in and just pull my ribbon, come back out, and go in again. I think these are so cute for any holiday. You're going to somebody's house for Thanksgiving? Bring a bottle of wine. Put a little turkey on the front, some fall paper. Looks so stinking cute. Or Christmas, you know, you want to hand out Christmas gifts. These are such great gifts for people. And you know, people who don't drink wine, you can find bottles of like um, sparkling apple juice or sparkling grape juice. You don't necessarily have to, you know, give alcohol if you don't want. But they do sell slender bottles like that. I'm not sure if they do sparkling apple cider, but that would be that would be delicious if they did. Okay, so we weaved our our top pieces here. And you just want to make sure your flaps are nicely closed over one another. Tie a bow. Try to tie a bow. <laughs> My fingers are, oh, here we go. Let's try that again. Some days these fingers cooperate and other days they do not. Okay. 
okay and then I have a little bit of a long piece here I'm gonna trim off okay but that's how that finished off and then I'm just gonna hang my my ghost tag around and flop it over to the side and I kind of tucked my tails in here and that's it guys that is our cute little wine bottle sleeve and like I said I recommend you going over to Jessie's craft room she does the slender wine bottle with just one piece of designer paper and also if you have a larger wine bottle than two and three quarters across you may want to follow crafty Caroline's tutorial and I'll post those links below and thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have fun making yours Take care and happy crafting.